In this video, I'm going to create a new unit test to test that email text field has an email keyboard type set to it. All right, so I will add a little space and we'll create a new function. Something like this, test email text field when created has email keyboard type set. And I already know how to get an instance of email text field, so I'll just copy this line from my previous unit test, paste it here. So what it does again, I'm using the instance of system under test, which is my view controller. And then I access email text field. And because it might not be connected, I'm using the XCT unwrap to unwrap it. And because it can throw an error, I need to add throws keyword here like this. So now I have email text field. And I can use a test assertion like XCT assert equal to test if this email text field has a special keyboard type. So I will use XCT assert equal. And as a first expression, I will use email text field and I will look up its keyboard type. And this is going to return UI keyboard type object. So I will use it. And as a second expression, I will use UI keyboard type. And then I will look up its email address type like this. And if the XCT assert equal fails my unit test because the email text field keyboard type is not equal to email address keyboard type, I will log a message. Something like this email address UI text field does not have email keyboard type set. All right, so I think I'm ready to run this unit test and see if it works. I will run it. And the test is successful. Again, I can try breaking this unit test by going to main storyboard, selecting email address, opening up the right side panel here. Let me select email address one more time. And then I will look up the keyboard type and change it to something else like default. Now we'll go back to my unit test and run it one more time. And now my unit test is failing because email address UI text field does not have email keyboard type set. Right, so everything seems to be working fine. I will just make my unit test pass again. We'll select the email address text field and change back the keyboard type to be email address. Go back to my unit test and run it one more time. And it's passing. Video lessons in this playlist are part of my new and quite large already video course on unit and UI testing of Swift mobile app. Let me show you it very quickly. If you click the link in the description of this video, it will take you straight to my video course. It is very new and if you notice, Udemy has already labeled it as hot and new. If you scroll down, you will see the curriculum of this video course. And if you notice at this moment, it shows that this video course has 120 lectures, but this number will change sometime soon, as I have already added to this video course a dozen of new lectures. For some reason, these numbers do not reflect real time data. There are more lectures now and more hours of video content. If you're a solo developer working on a very small project, then you might postpone learning how to unit test for a while. But if you're planning to join a bigger team at a bigger company, then unit testing is a must have skill. You will need to write unit tests to be able to work on important features. And this video course is for absolute beginners, for those who have never written unit tests in Swift. Have a look at the curriculum. Let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, I would love to see you in this video course.